Welcome back to the final episode of Season 2 of the Derby Career Mode series. We are third with two points away from second. We are still chasing that second place point. We're playing Sheffield Wednesday in this first match. And just in case my voice sounds a little bit off today's or in today's video, I do have a little bit of a cold. So I apologise on if my uh, voice or my audio sounds a little bit off. Uh, so yeah, against Sheffield Wednesday... Early into the game, I thought we were going to be the better of the two teams. Second half, it kind of continued. The keeper was on form in this game. It was really hard to try and beat the keeper at all. Um, unfortunately, Sheffield Wednesday go 1-0 up. Literally seven minutes to the end of the, the match, the end of the uh, game. And we just couldn't beat the keeper in this match. And the fact that we're trying to chase down second place, a 1-0 loss to Sheffield Wednesday to Sheffield Wednesday, they weren't even the better of the two teams, we were just unlucky with not being able to score against the keeper. We play Bolton in the next match in this episode, Matty Phillips scores 30 minutes into the game about and uh, Nathan Baker scores uh, a little bit later into the game as well, making it 2-0. This is a must win game after losing to Sheffield Wednesday and we win that game 2-1. This is the lineup for the third game. Again, these are all must-win games because we are still trying to chase second place. We are still trying to get promoted. If we do not get promoted this season, I might cancel the season. There's no chance in hell that Derby should be in the championship at the end of this season. The team is too good to be in the championship. They're, they're Premier League quality. We go 1-0 up with a fantastic shot from our right mid. I think it might have been that Santos player that doesn't get too much gameplay. I think he's only a 56 rated player, so he doesn't get first choice too often. Around the half hour point, we do get an injury from a corner, and it is our centre back that's playing. This is, uh, I think it was Chester gets injured. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, looks like an ankle injury, and he gets subbed off for Oxford. Another player that should be playing more games, young promising player. I have no idea how he missed by so much in that shot there. 90th minute. Uh, Wigan with the attack here, nothing really happening for them in this match and just not that kind of quality anymore. Moving on to, I believe, the second to last match now and it's against Middlesbrough and in reality we know they're prim Premier League quality. We go 1-0 up against them with a Matty Phillips goal yet again and it finished 1-0. Going down to the last three matches of the uh, fixtures in the league. We're 43 games in, there's 46 in total. We're playing MK Dons at home. This should be a interesting match. I don't think we should lose this game at all. MK Dons to me have always been a League 2, League 1 team. So playing against a championship team that's trying to get promoted um, honestly, I think we should win this by two or three goals. I think before this match, I also checked where they were in the league and they were just above Leeds or just below Leeds by a point. So we're looking at them being relegated this year, depending on the result as well. So they're looking at relegation and we're looking at promotion. Uh, we get a good save there by the keeper. Second half happens and we score. It took us until the second half to score a goal. That's, that's quite poor for us. But... At least we're 1-0 up. Nothing happens after that goal. It was one of the most quiet and boring games I've played in a while. And uh, honestly, it finishes 1-0. I wish it was more than one goal, but I can't complain too much. We're still getting three points, and it does help us towards the title there. So as you can see, we're second in the league, three points above Middlesbrough, which is great. Uh, yeah, so the last two matches of the game, the second to last game, I'm going to sim, which is the Ipswich match. We go 1-0 up by a penalty. Rashford scores the second goal to make it 2-0 on the 24th minute. Plenty of goals in the first half there. Fantastic kind of result. Moving on to the 60th minute and you'll see the uh, substitutions and uh, Russell who will be leaving us at the end of the season. 4-1, uh, 80th minute into this game. That five goals in one match is a good match to see. Uh, and then the final game of the season in the way of fixtures in the league. We're playing Brighton. If we beat Brighton, we get automatic promotion. If we lose to Brighton, then we're going through the playoffs. In the table, I think Brighton are around the, the halfway point in the table. I think they're about 15th or 16th in the table. So this should be an easy win for Derby. Unfortunately, we go 1-0 down 35 minutes into this match. From yet another really disappointing defensive clearance there. 
So I'm not very happy with the defence in this match to start with. 40 minutes into the match, literally a couple minutes after the first goal went in, and Brighton are there trying to score the second. If it wasn't for the player on the line, it would have been 2-0 up. Um, unfortunately, I would say 2-0 up before half-time, but they do actually score just before the half-time whistle blows to make it 2-0. So we're 2-0 down at half time, we're looking at getting promoted and this is the kind of result you see. This is not the derby we've seen all season, this is a match that we should be winning 2-0, not be losing 2-0 to them. This is really disappointing, I've not seen the team play this poor for a long time. Second half and nothing really changes, I've done some substitutions and it still didn't work. This is one of them games that no matter what I did, everything went wrong. 3-0 up. 60 odd minutes into the game and we give away a silly silly free kick uh, which leads to a red card so not only are we 3 and nil down but we're down to 10 men and the last three minutes of the game to add insult to injury brighton decide to score a fourth goal and celebrate it 4 nil to brighton that's a really upsetting result so we end off going into the playoffs we're playing Nottingham Forest, which is one of the only teams that I did not want to play in the playoffs because they are quite a hard team to play against. Um, I'm going to be simming both of these. I've given up playing it this season. Whatever the results are in this game or to the end of this episode now, it's all down to the computer. If the computer wants me in the Premier League, then it's a the computer that's going to put me in the Premier League. We go 1-0 down against Nottingham Forest. 30 minutes into the game and lose the first leg. We're now at home against Nottingham Forest in the second leg of the playoffs and Reed scores to make it 1-1 on Ag, 1-0 on this game. 40 minutes into the game and it is still 1-1 overall. 50th minute hits and there will be a couple of substitutions including Rashford going off. I'm not sure if that's down to fitness but we are still 1-0 in this game and 1-1 overall so there needs to be another goal. Whoever wins this Whoever scores the next goal will win this game, so it goes into added time here. A couple more substitutions will be seen. 1-0 and Reed scores the second goal for us in that game. We'll be playing Hull in the final playoff game, so whoever wins this match will get promoted. Either Hull City will get back into the Premier League or Derby will. Hull go 1-0 up 4 minutes into the game and we score the equaliser 33 minutes into the game. So at half time it is 1-1. 50th minute you'll see the substitutions again. 60th minute nothing really happens apart from one sub. Last 20 minutes of the game you'll see a load of subs. Last 10 minutes of the game nothing happens so it goes into added time. So we've got literally like 10-15 minutes left of this match. Hull go one more goal up and in scores equaliser yet again and we win on penalties. So there will be a season three as Derby County will be in the Premier League or any of my other content. Please hit that like button, sub to me if you are new and please leave some feedback below.